Hey guys, what's going on? I told you I'd keep a nice little journal of this whole journey. And uh, pretty much this is where I am right now. So yeah, as you see, I'm sleeping homeless on the side of the road or whatever in Los Angeles. You can get away with that. And I'm gonna tell you what, it's actually been pretty damn safe. I can't complain about that. Except for like the freaking street racers or whatever that just go up and down all night. This has been a pretty good deal. I mean, it's uh, cramped. Uh, me and my son decided to do this, you know, because I told him when we came out this way, I was like, look, the money is going to run out. And, you know, $440 for a hotel for just one week. <laughs> it's, it's absurd to most of us. But out to here, you know, it's justified. Uh, I can't really knock on thing, thing that much. Like I said, where you get slammed for rent, you kind of save on other stuff so far what I've learned and it seems like there's so many so much good potential and just it's wasted somehow but I'm not gonna you know be mad about it or whatever I'm just gonna be like look this is an opportunity and it's a chance to get into the ground floor as they say you know just kind of work my way up so yeah I came here and I had spent some great times at the hotel whatever and then I knew I was going to be going to a car and uh, I'm just dealing with it and but it gives me the opportunity to save money so I can go you know go around town and really check out stuff so yep that's the way it is for right now so one more look If you come out to L.A. with anything less than probably $3,000 or $5,000, you know, this is probably what you're going to get stuck with unless you have a relative or something. Which, you know, I went through all the scenarios first. You know, I studied this for about a whole year and I was like, okay, can I deal with this if I come out here? So, the one thing I'm really mad about right now is I have, I have food. And, you know, we're eating every day. I just ate a taco stand today and everything, and I'm doing awesome. Uh, I just really don't like not be able to wash my hair. <laughs> not that it looks that great anyway after about a couple days, but yeah, like I said, you can see down the. Down the street, there's some campers. Uh, tomorrow, they're going to be doing some street sweeping so I got to get out of here by 10 a.m. but I'm always out of here by 5 to 6 a.m. anyway because I mean you can only sleep so much if you go to bed like around 10 o'clock at night got a McDonald's down the road got a Denny's down the road my son's down the road just using the internet right now trying to keep up with all his stuff he's like an aspiring voice actor so he's gonna really keep up with that and I don't know what I'll get into, like music or something, you know, as a side project, not as a definite uh, thing. Um, well, you know, I'll take it as far as it goes, but I'm not going to rely on it. I'm just going to go out there and try to get like a regular job. Yeah, sorry about the light and everything, but it is dark. <laughs> this is when it gets a little bit more peaceful, except for, like I said, street racers, it seems. They're not like actual street racers, but it seems like they, they wish this road was. Yeah, Encinitas. Encinitas or uh, in Selmar. <laughs> if you ever come here, just like sit back and you'll see these people rev them, their engines and everything. It's like most people have like these really nice cars and stuff, and that's, that's how they use them. And uh, never, the cops never stop them or anything. I've never seen it yet um i'm just kind of happy not to be bothered you know just come over, use most of my day to look up jobs and stuff like that and uh come back at night just to go to sleep so yeah that's where i am i told you I'd give you a nice little report so 
There it is. Alrighty, until next time, rock on.